School starts literally tomorrow, so I have 24 hours to prepare for the new semester. For those of you who might not know, I'm a communications major, concentrating in film and TV production, and I'm really excited to start this new semester of college. This is actually my third year in college, and I've honestly learned a lot since day one. I've changed my major, and that made a really big difference. I actually like school now. We have a lot to do to prep. I have to clean out my old dirty backpack, get a new one, and I also wanted to like clean up my room, tidy up, because I don't want to start the new semester in the stinky 30 pigsty room. I also really want to print out my syllabi because it's really important that you go through that before going to school. Even though nine times out of ten your teacher is probably going to go through the syllabus with you on the first day. That's just kind of how it is. It's still important to go through it by yourself. I want to also prepare my study space, you know, get my desk actually cleaned and looking like something. And then I also wanted to do a little short form video just, you know, preparing for the semester but short form because, you know, I'm trying to get all my content. So hopefully this little day of like preparing can help me actually balance being a full-time student and a content creator this semester first things first this black backpack has gotten me through three years of college she was my ride or die okay she got me through everything i think it's time to switch it up and get something a little cuter so i got a new tote bag to be my school bag this year we're gonna see how it works honestly if i get tired of the tote bag we're coming right back to the handy dandy black backpack let's clean this out and switch it over not gonna lie you guys college was never really something i wanted to do and to be honest i actually wanted to take a gap year of college before i even started but i didn't i got right into it and i started off as a business Business major. It honestly wasn't until last semester that I actually switched my major from business to communications and I realized, oh my gosh, I think I love learning. And to be honest, you guys, last semester was my best semester academically. I had so many like extracurricular activities I was trying to keep up with in my major and it really showed me that I have a lot of time managing to do. To be completely honest with you guys, I never wanted to be a business major. I wanted to start off doing communications, but I didn't. And and it wasn't until I switched over that my passions were really ignited. So I really encourage you guys, when you're going to college, if you haven't gone to college yet, or if you're in college right now, or if you don't know what you want to do in college, or if you're in college doing something you don't even want to do, go with your gut because I'm telling you guys, when I switched my major, I was 10 times happier and I was a lot more successful academically and that drive to want to learn something new every day came back. Now, I already know I'm always cleaning my room every other video, but this is not staged, okay? Sometimes my room really is a little out of hand. It's not too bad right now and I definitely want to clean it before you know the first day of school and everything because I definitely don't want to start on a bad foot and honestly having a clear space really does mean having a clear mind and when you come home from school after a long day of school trust me you're gonna want to come home to a clean room and a clean space because it really helps with the decompressing after a long day and girl the way my schedule is looking I'm gonna need some decompressing besides just wanting a clean room when you come home from school I'm not even lying your productivity is definitely enhanced when your space is clean and you know where to find what you need. When my room is messy, I come home and I just sit in my mess because I don't feel like cleaning it. But when my room is clean, I'm motivated to actually keep it clean and keep a clear space and maybe do something productive that isn't just sitting in my mess. My biggest issue honestly is clothes. I always have clothes piling up. I don't even know what I'm gonna do about this issue except maybe do my laundry faster. Once I get the clothes out of the way, honestly, that's 90% of the work. I'm just gonna now make my bed. Making my bed makes the big difference when you come into your room and your bed is made it's just clean it just screams my room is clean so I'm gonna make my bed I love how my room turned out if you guys want to see me go decorate my entire room make sure you check that video out I just dropped it a few days ago now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off my counter space my dresser my nightstands all of that stuff So now my room is finally clean and I already feel 10 times better. Like I told you guys, having a clean room really does something mentally and even the process of cleaning, I feel like it's just like a stress reliever for me. Like when I clean, my stress goes away. Now I just wanna go to the store and stock up on some new school supplies. This is something that I've always done at the start of every new semester. I always, always, always get new school supplies and it's less because of the fact that I need school supplies and more of the fact that I need motivation to be a good student, okay? so. I I don't know if it's just me but buying new school supplies really just gets me motivated and gets me inspired to be a student i always just looked forward to buying the school supplies every year for the first day of school i remember from first grade going up me and my sister would go school supply shopping we would split it all write our names on everything so i'm definitely going to go to the store get some new school supplies just to have an even better semester so let's go
got some really cute stuff for this semester you guys like this was a successful little trip i also did order some stuff online so i got a new planner that just is more my style because it's just like a to-do list and a plan for the day rather than having every day of the week and every calendar month there is i also got this cute pink binder and i love it because it's kind of like leather i don't think it's real leather but it looks like leather and it's super cute it has all these dividers in it and on top of that it's pink i also picked up some pens gotta have a bunch of pens because i don't know what i do with all my pens i got this cute little pocket notebook because i figured if i ever want to just jot down a creative idea or if i'm ever waiting in line somewhere i can just jot anything down in my little notebook i got this new pencil case literally because it's pink also i got this cute little pink skinny water bottle to keep all my water cold even though i have a computer case already on my computer i had to get a new one because my old one is purple and it literally just clashes with all the pink so i got this cute new one it's pink and it has the pink little keyboard and i just think this one is way cuter and it matches the aesthetic Big thank you to CapCut Online for sponsoring today's video. Before school tomorrow, I really want to edit this little shorts that I made while I was out, you know, doing my prep for semester. I do not want to go into the semester having content work to do and then school work on top of that. So I'm gonna get this out of the way so that tomorrow is mainly just a school day and not a content creating day or anything like that. Ever since I started using CapCut Online, I have been way more efficient when it comes to like just content work. It's so much easier to have everything I need all in one space. There's templates so much different fonts to use and the program is honestly just really easy so make sure you guys check that out something else i really love about CapCut is you can use clips and stickers that are royalty free with no watermarks and you can be a lot more creative in expressing whatever it is you want to do on social media also CapCut online has auto caption so you don't have to type out your long captions out anymore it will do it automatically so my editing process goes a little something like this i first like to start by naming my project that i'm working on so it's easy to identify i hate losing files the next step is to add your footage to the timeline. With CapCut Online, adding files to the timeline is as easy as dragging and dropping. I filmed a little edit with me mini vlog, so here I am choosing the best clips to add. And now it's time to just trim down these clips with some simple cuts. When I'm editing short form videos, I like to trim the clips down to only show the action shots or what I'm actually trying to show in the video. That way I can fit more into the video and you guys can actually see what it is I'm doing. Trimming down the video clips in CapCut Online is so easy. There are keyboard shortcuts that you can use to trim your clips or you can just drag the beginning or end of the clip to shorten it to whatever length you would like. I'm just gonna cut these clips to show the action of what I'm doing. I love this style of editing because it looks super aesthetic and if you include audio, you can make a really cool like ASMR style video, which I don't know about you guys, but I love those kind of videos. Now I'm just going to preview what I did to make sure all of it looks good. I like to do this in between different editing tasks to make sure everything is still flowing nicely. After adding a few more clips and adding some cool text, the video is complete. Here is the finished product. Editing this little vlog was so easy and quick using CapCut Online. After previewing my final video, I'll just save the video and export it and get it ready to upload on all my social medias. CapCut Online has seriously changed the game for content creating. I love having an easy to access video editing software without having to download or install anything on my computer. With such a huge collection of templates, cute text, and graphics, I can create so much awesome content for you guys, and it's free. Make sure you guys click the link in the description to try CapCut Online for free. Also, there's so many cute templates you could show off your 2023 year, the year you've had. Literally, there's so many templates. You can go on and on and on. Thank you so much to CapCut for sponsoring this video. Very important tip that took me um too long to know was that I should probably have my syllabus on paper. I know we live in like a digital age where literally all of our homework and classes even are online, but for me at least because I'm just so forgetful and I'm not gonna wanna log into my D2L every single time. This is actually like an older syllabus from one of my previous classes because to be honest you guys, I have been trying to log into school to see my classes, but they're not showing up. We're gonna have to figure that out. Your syllabus literally tells you where your class will be held, where your teacher's office is, what time your class is. I know on the first few weeks of school, 
school you don't really know where your class is and exactly what time it is it takes a little getting used to so it's good to have this as well also this right here you guys this is the most important part of your syllabus no matter what you guys do always search for the method of evaluation portion of your syllabus so as you can see guys for this class the heaviest weighted category was my productions and this production bible project that we had to do this was worth 30 percent of my grade and this varies for other classes i know for some classes like weekly discussions is like the biggest category and that's like 30 percent but obviously it varies based on what your class is so it's always good to have an idea you know what you could get away with not doing and what you gotta do girl like obviously you want to see you know when all your homework is due and every syllabus is going to have each of your assignments that are going to be given to you in the school year and when exactly they're due so yeah that's one of my biggest tips guys print your syllabus Now that my syllabus is all printed out, I got my shorts done and edited. Let's go ahead and pack my new school bag. Like I told you guys, I got a new tote bag for school, so I want to pack it up and, you know, be packed and ready for the first day. shower cap big enough to fit all these braids so i usually just put it in a bun plus they're braids like they could get wet it'll be all right All right, so I'm about to do my makeup. I'm gonna just do it right here on the floor, even though I have an entire beauty room dedicated for doing my makeup. This window is looking so bright. I just do on this hoodie because I'm like freezing right now and it was just raining, but now it stopped. So I don't know what I'm gonna wear today yet, but we'll see. I'm gonna just do my everyday makeup routine. Y'all know the drill. Now that my eyebrows are done, I'm gonna use the same concealer and I'm gonna just conceal my under eyes. And that's it. That's it, hello. Boom, so that's literally my makeup. So now I'm gonna do my edges, y'all. I'm happy because this time, usually when I get my braids done, I never do my edges before, like she starts braiding my hair. I just let her braid it. She always braids all this in, so then I just look bald. But I'm so happy because before she got like to these braids, I was like, hold on, let me just do my edges real quick. So now I have edges. Better not turn right, bro. <laughs> Next up, let's pick an outfit. First off, we have this 
Aspen Colorado shirt. This is so cute. And then I have these black jeans. Okay, uh, let me show you the first outfit. Why are these bands so big? Okay, so I think I'm just going with these leggings because I feel like everything else just looks boo. So I think this is what I'm gonna wear, honestly. I don't feel like changing again. I do wanna pick out my essential pieces though. Um, I'm hungry y'all, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. But I, all I know is I have two back-to-back -back classes and I don't have like a break in between that. And I'm gonna need to eat something. All right, let's see what we can make for breakfast. Also, I have to make a thumbnail. with my breakfast i'm about to go ahead and head out to class it stopped raining hopefully it stays like that um i need to bring my water and probably a snack because i'm gonna be at school all day oh. 